It's me, you, mm, back on Dominations, and it's a war day. We've got, like, lots of time. There's lots of time left in war, uh, so I have plenty of time to make my decision on what I'm going to do. Um, that's what we're doing here is a war attack. Take a look and uh, just see how we're doing here on this here war. Uh, we've got eight minutes left, so lots of time to study and really get into the intricacies of the base. Uh, now, I often hold my attack out till the end. Um, I have pretty strong troops. I mean, about as strong as they could be without being atomic, I guess you could say. And uh, anyways, just want to make sure there's no holes I need to fill. Uh, let's take a look real fast. Here's a, kind of our participation, our average scores and stuff like that. Um, lots of good participation there. And the enemy is not doing as well so we'd like to see that um, somebody just joined and got kicked instantly <laughs> classic uh, seven minutes left there's a couple stars to be had on number seven which is always good let's take a look at the money prize wise on the left war loot rewards and, uh, okay there's one star up top on number one One on number four, blah, blah, one on six, two on this one. Let's take a look at seven. Um, okay, that's definitely doable. Um, let's take a look. Let's see where, uh, who's online real quick. If they're going to make their attacks or whatever. We only got a couple minutes left, but plenty of time, right? <laughs> Log in. Pretty good. Maza's not on. He's been off for seven minutes. I'm going to probably just go ahead and take over that number seven attack. Let's just look at it one more time. He was going to attack that one, but he's not on right now. We'll just go ahead and get a couple extra stars while we're at it. I always like to take out the uh, castle if I can on my entry. Um, and I think we can come in. It'd be good to go through and take out some of these spawners too. Um, moving in on the base so I'm thinking of coming in from around anchor or watt uh, pushing through the middle there's no defenses outside the walls up here so I don't have to worry about tanks taking a turn they're all gonna stay inside the center group if I can direct them properly do have one sneaky little douche down there um, probably wipe him out and bad placement with the air defense all on the right side okay well this is gonna be pretty easy we do have some extra troops. Uh, I have a little bit of lag on my video right now, so I apologize. Uh, but let's see if it uh, gets caught up here. Anything I can do about that? Mm, nope. Okay. Anywho, let's take a look at the army. What's ready? One more tactic available. Hmm. Uh, you know, I'll wait till there's like one second left and make my attack. <laughs> uh, tactic, where are you, tactic? What tactic is it? The other betrayal. You turd. We'll gym you. We'll crown you just because I need it for war, just in case. What generals do we have? Double check. Uh, the beasts. The beasts. Okay, announcing my attack real quick. Uh oh. Okay, that was interesting. My wife just uh, re showed showed back up at the house. She just left a moment ago. Left her phone here. So I was like, "Who is here?" And uh, that's who it was. It's not like I don't have any time left. Can't really do this. Let's see if I can get that. Can't get that to go away. Oh well. Two minutes, two seconds. Uh, let's just, uh, double check my, what? What? One plane missing. The suspense is killing me right now. Okay, I can't get that thing to go away. There it goes. Get off my screen, you dealie. 
Udelio. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we got some extra troops from the uh, crates and stuff like that. If we need them, we'll let them fly. And I can tell there's no uh, no traps down here because, well, there's no space for them. Okay. Let's just double check our strat. We're coming in. I'm basically going to try to push right through. It's a long ways to go, but I think it's probably the best. We'll see. Poke a hole. Drop some dudes. I like to get all my heavies down. Okay. Not the fastest uh, troop deployment you'll ever see, but that's okay. Missed the uh, freeze there. <laughs> it's alright though, too. Don't want to miss the town center freeze, though. Oh, we did. Shoot. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. I don't see any arties in there. Drop a little bit of that over there. Drop a little bit of this over here. Get them. There they go. Shoot the tower! And, uh, Merc Army. Hell, this is going pretty good. I don't even know if I need it. Lost all my planes, though. Set the phone down. I meant to freeze the castle, but I was in a little bit of a hurry with that timer running out on the war attack. Thanks a lot, wife. It's all her fault. <laughs> I'll blame her. Yep, this is just a massacre. But choppers, I mean, they just lay in waste too. troops just kidding so that went well um, the university research is paying off my troops are uh, powered up and everything went good there I don't know so I guess seven was a little bit uh, too easy for me I could probably hit number one even on this in this war but that's all right just wanted to uh, record it, show it getting thrown down. Uh, what happened there? We do three, uh, we use two APC armies and a helicopter army there to kind of clear out the other stuff. Which I guess, looking back on it, was overkill. But got a little worried when I missed that freeze on the castle. Um, anyways, so there's five stars for you. Mm, let's take a look at where everything else is on the base real quick. I can't have any videos be too fast. And I think that occurred right after the yep, war was over. So those are just some extras for good luck. <laughs> and not too shabby. Three tactics, no mercs dropped. Did use a little bit too many of those uh, crate troops, but oh well. We didn't have to win that one either. So I just get excited when I get on the videos and I'm just doing attacks. And <laughs> Start pressing all the buttons at once. Um, okay. Anyways, we can see you again. Once again, had some research completed, uh, but nothing better to do than put them all back to work again. And we'll start out with this guy too, I think. Yeah, we'll do that one. So, uh, that's number 61 on the uh, total skills researched so far. So, that's a lot getting there. And, uh, I don't know. It's early. It's Friday. Let's do some research. Maybe, uh, maybe a general. Oh, Mac. 
Should we do it? Yes, we should. <laughs> That's where all my oil goes. That's why I never buy any bunkers. I get I get messages all the time. Where are your bunkers? Where are your bunkers? And they're probably I probably should have them, but don't have them. It's part of why. Take a look at uh, the war ranking I'm on my team, on our team. Even though I have like max troops and for global at least, um, here I'm way down here, number nine. So uh, it's just probably because I don't have, I haven't upgraded some stuff that I don't really think is necessary. For instance, the bunkers, the roads, the farms, the cat, all those little things. No nope, pass. Uh, readouts. I mean. Anyways, I'm just going on and on. I don't really know. Uh, that's gonna do it. Let me see if there's anything cool in here. From defense. Uh, yeah, last night we had a couple defensive victories. Watch this guy. Add a little content to the video, I guess. <laughs> like that war attack wasn't enough. I mean, probably enough to do anything. Just drop my troops and they would have won. But oh, classic, Damocratians. Whatever that means. Another classic Dominations crash. You go to watch a replay and it crashes. I will show my subscribers that video of replay. I don't care how many times it crash. Mm-hmm. Okay. There she be. Always feel good to get rid of some of that oil. Gets those guys off your chest, anyways. The, the people attacking. Once you get over like 60k oil, start getting slapped in the face all the time by people. It just gets annoying. I mean, I can hold on to the oil, but pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, it's me. So I just spend it mm, right into the traps. Oh, good plan there, pal. There comes a heavy tank. Uh, one of those factories. I think this one's amazing because look how close he is to the Forbidden City. He could easily have just picked it up if he would have rallied a little bit better. Uh, but he chose to rally back and protect instead of rally forward. Probably could have done a better job with that. But that's all good. Hmm. And then uh, we'll fast forward. So you can see they still get stuck in these choke points. Those little areas where the openings are on this type of base. And it leaves so much time for the mortars to rain down on them. Um, so the main feature though is the, is the mortar behind a wall having a defense and another set of walls. That creates five cell space from the mortar where long range rifles and stuff can't shoot it. Artillery can't shoot it. It has to go through at least one set of walls before it can get to that mortar. Um, that's part of the key to this base. I've been considering taking out some of these, some more of these interior walls, and making it a little bit bigger. But I kind of like the way it sits right now. So, anywho, here's the, he's at 47%. Watch this. He goes for the 48%. He goes. He rallies for the storehouse, and he gets shot with an anti-tank cannon, and he loses. He could have gotten so much more if he would have just rallied on the. Uh, Forbidden City down in the bottom, but with it placed so far down low, it sometimes goes unnoticed. Um, he may not even have seen it until the round was over. And by then, it's too late. Uh, that's one of the trickier things about this. Having a Forbidden City base, usually they're sp spread out with two different parts. you got your, um, your Town Center side and your Forbidden City side, just like this base. This is how most Forbidden City bases sort of look. Um, but they're obvious to where both where both of them are and so you can see it on this base you pull it up and you think probably think it's not a forbidden city base uh, because where the town center is in the middle and so you may not even look for it that's, so that's kind of part of the trick with it and one more uh, now nah, we won't do any more um, we're still accepting guys you know we take industrial age global whatever a little bit lower if you if you want uh, but still have space for three more and uh, we're getting pretty full. Everybody's like mega active and uh, really down to earth. So there's no um, there's no big big uh, bully guys on the team telling people that they suck or how to do their attacks or whatever. So if you want to relax, have fun, join San Fran Tokyo. S A N F R A N T O K Y O. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.